James Monroe was the fifth president of the United States, serving from 1817 to 1825. He was born in Westmoreland County, Virginia in 1758 and grew up in a wealthy and influential family. Monroe received a classical education and studied law before entering politics in the 1780s. Monroe was a key figure in the American Revolution, serving as a delegate to the Continental Congress and participating in the drafting of the United States Constitution. He also served as a diplomat, negotiating the Louisiana Purchase and establishing the country's western border with Spain. As president, Monroe implemented several important policies, including the Monroe Doctrine, which declared that the United States would not tolerate European colonization or intervention in the Western Hemisphere. He also oversaw the establishment of a national university and the expansion of the country's transportation infrastructure. Despite these accomplishments, Monroe faced several challenges during his presidency, including economic depression and regional conflicts. He was also criticized for his handling of the First Seminole War and the Missouri Compromise, which allowed Missouri to enter the Union as a slave state. Overall, James Monroe is remembered as an important figure in American history who played a crucial role in shaping the country's early foreign and domestic policies. After leaving the White House in 1825, James Monroe returned to his plantation in Virginia, called Oak Hill. He spent his remaining years managing his property and working on his memoirs. Monroe also remained active in political and civic affairs, serving as a member of the Virginia Constitutional Convention in 1829 and as Chancellor of the College of William and Mary from 1826 to 1836. Monroe's health began to decline in the late 1830s, and he died at Oak Hill on July 4, 1831, the same day as his friend and fellow founding father, Thomas Jefferson. Monroe was buried in the cemetery at the University of Virginia, which Jefferson had founded. Monroe's legacy as president and founding father continues to be celebrated in the United States. He is remembered for his leadership during a critical period in American history and for his contributions to the country's early foreign and domestic policies.